Nation, you already know what time it is. Let's get it. Yeah, I'm a Raider, Oakland Raider. From the Bay to LA to Las Vegas. I'm a player, a boss player. If you with me, pop your collar, shake them haters. I'm a Raider, Oakland Raider. From the Bay to LA to Las Vegas. I'm a player, a boss player. If you with me, pop your collar, shake them haters. I'm from the city of set, rep the silver and black. Word of hot show, give me the strap. The realest is back. Stupid chat with some silly attached. I for a nah, fuck it, man, give me a patch. I'm a Raider, Oakland, LA, Vegas, Jalen, Kenyon, Jacobs, Vegas. Man, bread, don't we, Lady Lady? The shine with the speed, it was with the 50 50. Yeah, they said I still been Blackfield. Abram in the box, American in the backfield. Yo, shout out to everybody here in the chat already. You already know what time it is. Shout out to my brother Halo, RK Raider Way, man, Derek Vehicle, GA Patriot, Sean Johnson, SJ, Ben Bad. What's good, my guys, man? North Cal Raider Jesse, everybody watching on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to get your comments in, jump over to YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and we will definitely, definitely try our hardest to get them all in, man. You already know what it is. Operator King, what's good, my brother? Javier's in the building. Knock Andrew. Yes, yes. Jesse. Jerome King. Man, what's popping, man? Everybody here. We almost 100 already in the, deep in the chat. That's what I'm talking about, man. A lot to unpack tonight. Back in the cave, man. I don't care. I'm dealing with the heat. I need to be around my Raiders shit. It's like I get the energy, right? I, I, my energy, I, I build it off of this shit. You know what I mean? So we here, man. We're going to thug it out for the rest of the season until I get to Vegas you know what I mean? Full time. But until then, we're going to be in this hot ass garage, thugging it out as much as possible, man. Shout out to my boy, Raiders God, man. South Sack is definitely in the building, man. You already know. Shout out to my dog, man. What's good, family? A lot to talk about, like I said, man. Make sure you guys wipe them feet. Wipe them feet, man. Hit them thumbs up. Let me ask you guys real quick. Where are you watching from right now? I am from South Sacramento, California. Living in Dallas, Texas right now. Where are y'all at right now? Let me know in the comments section. King Savage, I got you, my brother. We definitely going to start with that. Um, there's a lot of talk online on the internet right now about Chandler Jones and about Darren, uh, Darren Waller, actually. Darren Waller, for those who don't know, he missed the past two days of practice. I think Chandler missed the last four or five days of training camp. Um, yo, let's just be real, you guys. It's a holla, it's the Hall of Fame game week. Um, Chandler Jones is 32 years old, you guys. Uh, you know, Darren Wilder's coming off a year, uh, a year last year where you know he dealt with a lot of injuries. Um, this coaching staff is not going to rush these guys out there. Look, it could have been Chandler Jones being dehydrated, and they were like, you know what, we're gonna sit him the rest of the week. At the end of the day, um, this. This is not going to linger on, you guys. Um, I, I forgot who it was. I think it was NFL Live today. They were on. Um, they were at the headquarters, and they did say that they were hearing there's nothing wrong with Chandler Jones. There's nothing wrong with Darren Waller. You know, we're just being, you know, we're pretty much being cautious at this point. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason to have him out there. Chandler Jones knows the system. Uh, D. Wall is, is just a physical specimen and a beast. At the end of the day, you don't really need these guys out there. They're going to ball out regardless. You know what I mean? So there's no reason to have Chandler Jones out there at 32 years old, um, you know, and, and he's had his, uh, he's had, you know, some, hi some history of some injuries as well. You know what I mean? So there's no reason to start stressing out about Chandler Jones or about Darren Waller until we, you know, unless we hear something that's solid as they're dealing with the injury that sucks. But what I'm hearing, you know what I mean? Is they're good to go. We're just being cautious, making sure our veterans are ready to go week one. Look, man, I think that Josh McDaniels and Zeke really believe in this in this roster that they have. And they want to do everything to protect these guys um, going into the season because we already see we're going to talk about, you know, Micah Kaiser gone for the season with the leg injury. Right. 
And I need some of y'all to pump the brakes, man. For real. Like, I, I get, you know, we, we get pissed and, and, you know, this person's hurt, this person. Micah Kaiser, man, is a special teams ace at best, and he probably would have rarely seen the field at linebacker. You guys got to stop. Oh, my God. You know, it's already started. No, 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 no. Yes, it sucks that Mike is hurt. Yes, it sucks that uh, Frack Rail is out for the season. Yes, it sucks. But guess what? These two guys were rotational pieces. They were not starters. At the end of the day, everybody right now going in, you know, to the Hall of Fame game that, that, that needs to be out there at this point is cool and they're ready to go. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, don't stress. I know Klee, um, you know, is dealing with something minor, but they're saying that he should be ready for week one. Um, there, look, all signs are pointing toward Bilal Nichols, uh, Jonathan Hankins, um, and all our guys on the pup list. I, I even believe Mullen. I don't know about a Stoner yet, but I don't think Stoner makes the roster. But, um, you know, I'm hearing that these guys should be ready for week one. So we're OK. We're OK. There's no reason to, you know, ring the alarms and, and get to going crazy and going online. And, oh, my God, this is some bullshit. Calm that shit down. Calm it down. Now, God forbid it's a DC or Adams thing. And you guys, hey, real quick, I don't know if y'all seen this shit. Um, Josh McDaniels, I hope you learned your lesson. You had you had Hunter Renfro out there taking punt, uh, taking punts, returning punts at practice. What happens? Runs to the out to the sideline to catch the ball. Literally runs into into Devontae Adams' knees. Um, yes, that could have potentially took two of our starting, the best, one of the best slot receivers in the league, top three, and the best receiver, just like that one take. You know what I mean? One play, and you could have lost two players. No. Get Devontae away from everything, you know what I mean? And get Hunter get Hunter away from returning punts. What are we doing? What are we doing? Why is he out there? Why is he out there? There's no reason to have Hunter Renfro out there returning punts. I don't care if it's just in training camp. No, 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 no. That's what you got to trip out about right there. I don't know if you guys seen that, but at training camp, Hunter Renfro was returning punts, went to go catch one. I guess he was low-key out of bounds when he caught the ball, and he ran, he fell into, into Devontae Adams' knees. Something as simple as that could literally destroy our offense in a blink of an eye, can destroy our team in a blink of an eye. You got to get away from that shit. Leave Hunter away from punt returns. Justin Hall, uh, 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 DJ Turner, look, you know, look, I don't care who it is. Like, like shit, Kenyon Drake can be out there. Tyron Johnson, keep Hunter Renfro away from returning punts. Shit's crazy, man. But now I see why, you know, Chandler Jones isn't out there, why Darren Waller isn't out there. To be honest with you, I'd be okay putting Devontae Adams and Hunter Renfro on the back burner until week one at this point as well. I'm sorry. These guys already know the game. They're very smart individuals. They're great players. Keep them ready for week. Keep them fresh, man. Keep them fresh. But, yeah, you guys, pump the brakes on the Micah Kaiser stuff, man. There's a reason why we went out and got Kenny Young, another former uh, Los Angeles Ram, and I believe Denver Bronco. Um, there's a reason why we went and got Darian Butler as a UDFA out of Arizona, you know what I'm saying, Arizona State, you know what I mean? And he looks like he's balling out there right now. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay, man. We got some We got some dogs. Devine's still out there. Denzel Perriman is healthy right now. You know what I mean? We are okay. Jayon Brown, I'm hearing good things about him. We are okay. Let's pump the brakes on the whole freaking out about Micah Kaiser and Frack Rail. It sucks. Yes, it does. You don't want to see any players go down like that. But at the end of the day, these guys are rotational pieces. We got to stop acting like we just lost two all-pro guys. That's not what happened. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, get them questions in, you guys. Q&A, Q&A. Um, and, y'all, it sounds like Lester Cotton is really – playing out of his mind right now how do y'all feel about that how do y'all feel about that it sounds as though lester cotton is literally bawling out of his brain cells right now the udfa out of alabama it sounds like 
he may be the starting right guard on this roster. Everyone out there is saying it. That is crazy. That is crazy, man. And, and, and everybody, DC's giving him, you know, high praise. Everybody is giving him high praise right now. You know what, you guys? Fuck it. I'm sold. I didn't buy it. I did not buy any of it. I didn't buy any of it. But guess what? Sold, motherfucker. Sold. Sold, motherfucker. I'm sold. I'm sold. I am sold. Love it, man. And we got to pump the brakes a little bit about Alex Leatherwood. We were all just, you know, killing him the other day, including myself. Um, you know, even though his body language told another story, um, it sounds as though he was right back out there um, today and yesterday, I believe, getting more reps, uh, first team reps. You know what I'm saying? So um, maybe they're being really, maybe they're lighting a fire under Leatherwood's ass at this point. I don't know. But he has been getting more, more first team reps. You know what I mean? There, there was, it was rumored that he was out there taking third, third right tackle reps. That's not what you want to hear from a second year guy that's a first rounder, right? But it sounds as though they're, they're you know, they're, they're, they're slowly working him in, but they're, they're, they're lighting a fire under his ass. You want this job? We'll come get it. I wouldn't be shocked if Illuminor won that, won that, won that spot. And I'm hearing great things about Munford. My dog out of Ohio State, seventh rounder, former captain of the Buckeyes. I love it, man. I love it. I love it, man. Look, I know this, the names aren't sexy, you guys. You think Lester Cotton, right? You think Brandon Parker or Munford or Jermaine Illuminor, a right tackle, right? You hear that, and, you, and you, you instantly think in your head, like, oh, my God, we're in for a terrible year. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. This is Carmen Brasillo, you guys. This is not Tom Cable. This is Brasillo. Shout out to my brother, man, OG. Chronicles of the Black Hole, man, my bro. Um, is it true that John Simpson is balling out? I'm hearing great things about John Simpson. Hearing great things. Hearing that he is our clear-cut starting left guard at this point. Um, so I'm assuming that our third rounder, you guys, Dylan Parham, which I assumed he would start, but it looks as though at this point, John Simpson has that left side sewn up with Colton Miller and Lester Cotton. It sounds as though he has that right side sewn up. I mean, that right tackle position is still up for grabs with Brandon Parker, you know, Illuminor, Alex Leatherwood, you know what I mean? Potentially Mumford. I don't know. And that's a, that's a stretch. That's a reach. I'm going to be honest. I don't see Mumford taking the, the starting right tackle uh, position year one. But it's great to hear your seventh round guy already looking really, really good out there because that means that you potentially have your starting right tackle. So if Alex Le of the future, so if Alex Leatherwood does not pan out, if we let Brandon Parker walk after this year, we may have our future right tackle with their muffer. But yes, OG, my brother, I'm hearing really good things about John Simpson. Um, you've been really quiet, my brother, but it's good to see you here, man. You know, what I mean, I was just telling somebody the other day, I said, I said, um, damn, man, it feels like some of the OGs of the channel, you know what I mean? Like they, they kind of, you know what I mean, been, been doing other things and stuff. So it's good to see you in the building, my brother, for real. Uh, this is a Q&A today, guys. We're just having some fun. We're going to shoot this shit and talk about uh, what we got going on um, at training camp. You know what I mean? Skills all day. Docs, what are your thoughts on the best uh, QB wide receiver duel? Carr and Adams, Tua and Hill. Wilson and Sutton, Brady and Jones, et cetera. I mean, a lot of new. Look, I'm going to say this. Until proven otherwise, look, I'm a guy, right? Look, DC and, and, and Adams to me can be the best one-two punch. But I'm going to go with Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup. They're coming off of a Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this guy, 2,000 yards. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know what I mean? Like, you know. Got to go Matthew Stafford and got to go, go got to go Cooper Cup. Brady and Jones have not proven nothing yet. Jones hasn't even proved that he can play eight, nine games a season. You know what I'm saying? I heard that they have, a, they're looking really good out there with their chemistry, but you know, I hope, I hope that's wrong. You know what I mean? But uh, 
I'll say this. Yeah, Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup until proven otherwise, my brother. Let me see. What are we doing with Leatherwood? That's a great question, my brother. It's up to Leatherwood. It's up to Leatherwood, man. You know what I mean? The guy, the guy comes from a powerhouse college in Alabama, you know, had the most prestigious offensive line of, uh, lineman award in college. You know what I mean? The guy played all up and down the offensive line. You would assume that Leatherwood has everything, the full package. You know what I mean? But it's it's got to be in his head. You know what I mean? It's It's got to be in his head. He has to snap out of that or he's not going to see the field. Simple, sim simply put. Um, I'm seeing this a lot right now, you guys. Burrow and Chase, too. Facts. But they lost to Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup. So I'm going Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup until proven otherwise. Um, I'll say this. Tevin Jenkins. A lot of us wanted him in the first round uh, last year. Um, he looked really bad with Chicago in the limited time that he played. Um, gave up a bunch of sacks, a bunch of QB hits. Um, I believe he had a back injury as well, right? Uh, my guy out of Oklahoma State. I'll say this. I know that they're already trying to fish and trying to see what they can do um, for their former second round pick. Um, that's crazy, right? Second year and they're already – he's already on the, tra on the trading block. But um, I'm going to say this, man. Nah. I, I don't want to go get Tevin Jenkins. I don't. I don't. Um, I know a lot of people are, you know, like I said, a lot of people are freaking out about the offensive line. I'm not one of them. I, I don't think you go out and make make a trade for Tevin Jenkins. The more and more we stay put and we stand pat with what we have in the O-line, like not going to get Daryl Williams or not trading for Tevin Jenkins, I'm assuming that Carmen Brasillo loves every single thing about this O-line. And I'm hearing nothing but greatness out of it, man. You know what I mean? I'm hearing these guys are competing on a whole entirely different level this year. You know what I mean? So a coaching staff, a new coaching staff works wonders, you guys. It's like, what's the old saying? Sometimes, you know, um, you can just use, a, you know, a, a new a new environment, right? You know what I mean? Just, just go somewhere else and, and, and things work out. Well, look, we got a new coaching staff and it looks as though we're looking pretty good out there right now, man. You know, from what I've heard, the defensive, defensive line has gotten the best of the O-line, and the O-line has gotten the best of them. That's all you can ask for. That's all you can ask for, man. Um, do you think Jacobs is going to show out this year? I definitely do, Paul. I definitely do. The way he talked in that presser about, I'm not worried about the fifth-year option. I just want to go out there and play. And, you know, I love Vegas. This is where I want to be. And, you know, so on and so forth. Look, man, you can't tell a motherfucker that used to live in his car with his father. Nothing. Nothing. He's already seen, he's already seen the bottom, right? So if this, if this is like technically, you know, if we let him walk next year, if we technically let him walk, this is nothing, man. This man is playing the game he grew up loving and making millions and millions of dollars doing it. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, for someone that came from nothing, I, I said this to somebody the other day. I said, man, to be real with you, like, like I already made it. Like, you know what I mean? From what I came from and from what I've overcome, I've already made it. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I, look, I'm never satisfied. I always want more, but I've already made it. So Josh has done the same thing. You know what I mean? I definitely think that he's going to ball out this year. I think that he is going to be a monster. I think that he's going to get a lot of red zone looks, and he'll lead our running back room in touchdowns clear cut. Clear cut. I think that Josh Jacobs is going to utilize – I mean, Josh McDaniels will utilize Josh Jacobs a lot in the red zone, including Matt Collins. And I kept saying that, you guys – People said I was tripping. Matt Hollins is only going to be a predominantly a special teams guy. No, 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 no. Six four, six five. We're going to utilize him in the red zone. You know what I mean? But Jacobs is going to ball out. I 100% trust in this new coaching staff. We're all going to be very impressed once the season starts and we see the improvement on that old line. Talk that shit, Ryan. Talk that shit, my brother. Who do you think will be our starting corners? What's up? Love and respect, Ben a minute. Shout out to my boy, Chile. I'll say this. And I've seen a lot of people freaking out today, too, because Rocky Sin, Anthony Avery, and a list, a whole shit ton of other players were not out there at practice today, you guys. These guys are veterans. They're veterans. You know what I mean? They, they, they don't need to play every single day. You know what I mean? And also that heat is different in Vegas. Give these guys a little, you know, give them a little break here and there. You know what I mean? For real, that this summer has been crazy. It's been crazy everywhere. 
with the heat. You know what I mean? So these guys deserve a break. But I'm going to say this. Um, right now, as, as it stands, Anthony Averitt on one side, Rocky sit on the other. Nate Hobbs in the slot. Nate Hobbs in the slot. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's what I got. You know what I mean? Mullen is still on the pup list. And to me, there is no way in hell, no way in hell, he just comes up off the pup list and, and, and starts at, at corner. It just doesn't happen to me. So I got Anthony Averitt and I got Rocky Sin. And I've already said that I thought Mullen was already the guy from the outside looking in because these two new guys are a part of the new, re new regime's plans, right? We went out and traded for, um, you know, Rocky Sin for Yannick you know, with the Colts. And then we went and got Anthony Avery, double A from the um, Baltimore Ravens in free agency. So I'm assuming that Rocky Sin is number one and I'm hearing really great things about him. And Anthony Avery will be a high level number two for us. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at. Um, shout out to my guy, man. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I see my boy Paz, man, says something. I got, I got to, I got to shout my guy out. Yo, Docs. 24 days sober today. That is what's up, my brother. I love it, King. I love it. I'm on my way to three months. Stay the course, my brother. Stay the course, man. Stay the course. You almost had a, a month, my brother. I'm proud of you, King. Proud of you, man. Wipe the feet, y'all. Hit them thumbs up. Hank, he's predominantly going to be a special teams guy. Uh, Darius Phillips can play some corner. Don't get me wrong. I, I think that him and the meek will see the field this year um, at corner. But I, I I think that we really went and got Darius Phillips um, as a depth piece for the corner room, but also a special teams guy. The guy can return punts, you know what I mean? And, 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 and he, I think he's a gunner as well, you know what I mean? So Darius Phillips would be a special teams guy. But you, he probably will see the field at some point um, at the corner room, you know what I mean? Shout to boosting with E, my dog. This new regime came from a play that wouldn't get uh, go get the big name players. They cr helped create them. I trust in them to get it done. And the, cr the crazy thing is, boosting with E, they're doing both, right? We went and got Chandler Jones and Devontae Adams, year one of the new regime. Two superstars. But also, we have players like Anthony Averitt and Rocky Sin that we can turn into superstars that we could turn into stars. And I definitely believe in Patrick Graham. I think that Graham is going to tra uh, turn Trayvon Merrick into a superstar, not just a star, but a superstar. You know what I mean? I think he can work wonders with Abram as well. You know what I mean? So, but I, I definitely hear you, my brother, but I think we're going to be a little bit of both this time around, right? Build superstars and go get superstars. It is Vegas now, my brother. This isn't New England. You know what I mean? It's Vegas. They want everything shiny. The lights, you better go get them superstars if you want to sell seats. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to, you can't sell, you can't sell modest in Vegas. You can't sell modest. You can't sell bland. You can't sell vanilla in Las Vegas. So, you know, the best thing in, in the world to do is build up some stars and go get some stars. A perfect blend of both. Shout out to my dog, Boosting with E. No, never would. Never would, my brother. Never would. And I'm here for it. And I'm here for it. Bill Gates, bro. I am hyped. I am hyped, bro. I am hyped. I am hyped, man. I am hyped. Um, I already got my stream already ready to go. I will be live for the entire game, you guys. Jump over here with me, man, and watch the game. We're going to have some fun. We finally get to watch some Raider football so Raiders football in the next few days, man. This shit is crazy. I don't care if it's seven string players. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, Junior, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. Shout out to my brother, Junior, man. Let me see. Sell box seats. Boost these regular seats. Got me budgeting for months. <laughs> Look, man. At this point, brother, hit them road games, King. Hit them road games, King. Vegas is hitting right now. It's hitting right now. Week three, Nashville, everybody come. Hey, bro, I will be there. GA, I will be there, my brother. I will be there. I'm flying out. Let's get it. Um, did you hear Foster kicked ass in practice yesterday? Eric, I've been hearing that he's been balling out, period. I've seen some footage of him out there catching, uh, you know, catching passes. 
and out there looking really good, man. You know what I mean? I'm excited about Foster Moreau. We know what Josh McDaniels does with, with tight ends. Pause. Super pause. We know what he does. So I'm here for it. Shout out to Rick Glenn. Um, I'm excited about it. Micah Kaiser does nothing. Uh, his, his injury in which, look, Micah, I hope you get better, my brother. Prayers for you and your family. Um, but I'm going to say this. That doesn't move. It doesn't move the needle for me. I'm still excited about this linebacking core. Jayon Brown is going to be exceptional um, in, 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 in coverage. Denzel Perriman, stout against the run. And then Divine Diablo is going to be a perfect blend of both of them this year. I'm telling you now, perfect blend of both of them. Mark my words. And then you got Kenny Young and you got these other guys, you know, saying they can come in and, and, and play if need be. I'm excited. Can we use one more linebacker? Definitely. With Micah going out, I think we went out and got uh, somebody let me know, man. Who the hell did we go get? We got old boy from um, starts, last name starts with a B. Last name starts with a B. And I'm, I'm going to be real with y'all. I've never, ever heard of this dude, like ever. Bolton, Bolton, there we go, Bolton, never heard of dude, Curtis Bolton, there we go, um, so I don't know if he's just a, a piece that's going to play in a Hall of Fame game and play in the preseason and just hope to earn a roster spot somewhere else, but I mean, I don't think that, I don't think that Bolton's going to be a part of this team moving forward, you know what I mean, we got Darian Butler, um, a UDFA, and Antonio Pierce, I'm telling y'all now, is beating the table for Darian Butler to make this roster. That's his guy out of Arizona State. He's beating the table for him. He's saying, ball out, and I'm going to make sure you make this roster. And at this point, you know, with, with Micah going out, I'm assuming that Darian Butler is safe. You know what I mean? Unless he just shits the bed for the rest of training camp. I'm assuming that Darian Butler will make the roster. Yes, I seen that Bolton was a Raider fan. I, I actually retweeted what he put out. He said he grew up a Raider fan, and he's in heaven right now. So I'm here for it, man. I'm here for it. You always want a player to be here. You always want players that grew up Raider fans. That's why I wanted Leonard Williams, man. That's why I wanted Big Cat. You know what I mean? Not only is he one of the best defensive tackles in the league to me, but, like, you know, he's he grew up a Raider fan. Grew up in Cali. Grew up a diehard Raider fan. I wish, I wish, I wish Leonard Williams was a Raider. Shout out to Rick Glenn, my brother, man. I appreciate you, King. Um, Justin, man, when do you think we extend Waller? I, look, I'm assuming it happens soon. We got a lot of money to play with right now. But – People tend to forget that we don't have a lot of money next year. So you got to allow some of this bread to roll over. But I do think that we get we, we take care of Waller, get it over with, you know what I mean? And we make sure that he's cool and we can move we can move forward with all our superstars under contract. That's crazy. You don't see that a lot, you guys. You don't see that a lot. You don't see all your superstars clear cut three, four year deals, right? Hunter Renfro, extended. DC, extended. You know what I mean? Like, like, like Waller's going to get his. Renfro got his. Mass Crosby got his. Chandler Jones, Jones got a, a nice deal with us. You know what I mean? The only guy that's pretty much left, you know what I mean, that, that's a star with us is Josh Jacobs, but he's a running back. You know what I mean? And I don't want to go that route again because people think I can't stand him, but I actually love Josh Jacobs. You know what I'm saying? But it's an, exp it's, it's, it's an expendable position in the NFL. You know what I mean? But um, I think it's going to happen soon. Justin, I do think it's going to happen before the season starts. I think before week one, Waller will be uh, sewn up. Shout out to everybody, man. Wipe them feet. Hit them thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. LV Maximus, my brother. I'll see you there, King. Any news? Bro, it's been so quiet. So quiet. I have not heard anything about Apollo Mount at all. Like nothing. Not one, not one word. Haven't seen a beat writer tweet out anything. Haven't seen anything. I've, I've not seen nothing. It's been fairly, uh, not fairly, very quiet on the Palomar. But he'll see a lot of burn, you guys, in the Hall of Fame game. Him and my boy Gillespie. And it's been real quiet with Gillespie as well. I'm excited to see what those guys can do in the Hall of Fame game. I hope to see Palomar, Palomar I think that's how you say it, and Tyree Gillespie um, out there um, during the um, Hall of Fame game. Um, the Real J. Bro, that has been – have you guys seen a lot of stuff that's going on at camp? Like Josh McDaniels is not playing about the red zone. It seems as though they are doing 
red zone, just, just, just shit left and right. It seems like every time I go to Twitter or every time I'm on Bleacher Report or something like that, I'm always seeing us working on uh, uh, red zone drills. That's fire to me because you know why? Josh McDaniels is planning to score a lot and not threes. He's, he's, he's putting up sixes. He's putting up sixes. We've been, we've been every day continuously. I see red, I see red zone shit left and right. So uh, look, man, I'm excited. The real Jay. I'm excited. My brother for real, for real, man. I'm excited. Um, let me see. Crickets. Up. Well, look, the, the John Beck, the thing is this, right? It's been pretty much crickets for every a lot of rookies outside of Darian Butler. Um, you know, I've heard some things, you know, about Mumford, you know, been really quiet on the Dylan Parham front, um, really quiet on the Britton Brown front, real quiet on the Zeus front, even though he was dealing with an injury. But uh, it's been really, 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 really quiet. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. We'll see what we really have in a lot, a lot of these guys, even though I heard some good things about Justin Hall, the UDFA out of Ball State. But um, we'll see. That's all I can say. We'll see. Come Thursday. That's when you start hearing more and more about our UDFAs and our rookie guys and our young guys. You're going to start hearing it. Right now, it's training camp. The veterans are getting the most looks. Let's be honest, you guys. These guys that are out there right now covering the team, they're not They're not there um, you know, to get to, to, to see these young guys ball out. They're not going to talk about the Gillespie's. They're not going to talk about the Palomaros. They may pop up here and there, but they're out there watching the sexy names. They're out there watching Devontae Adams because those are, those are what going to get you clicks, right? That's going to get you clicks. They're watching Darren Wilder. They're watching all these other guys. They're watching Renfro, DC, because they get you clicks. So, hey, it could be really quiet on the UDFA front because let's just be real. Maybe some of these guys are just moving under the radar. I haven't heard anything about Matthew Butler. I haven't heard anything about Neil Farrell Jr. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't know, man. We shall see. But I'm looking forward to preseason because I want to see what these guys can do. Um, Keith Brown, this look, bro. All I, all I can tell you is this. I watched NFL Live today, and um, they said that they spoke with a few guys um, inside the building and that um, it's not serious, anything serious with Chandler Jones or Darren Waller, and they, sh they should be ready to go week one. That it's it's nothing serious. So I'm assuming that maybe just maybe they're getting some rest. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Chandler Jones has played this game so long, you guys. He's 32 years old. He does not need to be out there every every second of the, you know, every second of, of, of training camp at all. Damian Bonds. Who's covering Travis Kelsey this year? Shit, I hope that Jayon Brown gets on him. You know what I mean? Uh you know, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. It just depends on what, at what kind of defense we run at that time. Bonds, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see Jayon Brown on him. You may see Nate Hobbs on him here and there. You know what I'm saying? You may even see, uh, you know, Merrick drop down and, and and get on and get on Travis Kelsey. You know what I'm saying? But I want to see Jayon Brown. That's what I want to see. Because you guys know, you know, linebackers are supposed to be able to cover, uh, you know, the running backs and the tight ends as much as possible. So I want to see a lot of these guys. I want to see Merrick, you know what I'm saying, on Travis Kelsey. I do. I want to see him drop down and, get, and, and, and cover him. But I want to see Jayon Brown. That's who I want to see. That's who I want to see. I want to see Jayon Brown. No, Jimmy, please, bro. Please. No. I don't want to see Abram nowhere near Kelsey unless he's double teamed or tripled at that point. Yeah, hey, Wade, we're hearing really good things about Nate Hobbs. And one thing I love about him, man, he got a chip on his shoulder. When he's in those, when he's in those pressers, that man is business. He's ready to go. He looks jacked. He's ready to rock. I am excited about Nate Hobbs. He's going to take that next step in his development this year. Let me see. Need to take a good look at who's going to back up Jones. Uh, look, I I'm going to be honest. William, at this point... Malcolm Coots? Yeah, it's sweat, y'all. That shit is sweat. Sweat. I want to see Coots out there. I want to see our second-year guy. I want to see Coots out there. Clea will be out there as well. You know what I mean? He'll, he'll be out there as well. You know what I mean? Maybe Clea. I don't know. But I want to see Coots get every chance in the world this year under this new regime. Bro, I'm about to pour this motherfucker water on my shit. Holy shit. Let me see. 
Will Parham play again on Thursday? Hunter, at this point, I'm going to assume that Parham is see the field. Definitely. I think they want to see him in an actual NFL game. They want to see him, you know, get out there and start adjusting to the speed of the game, even though he's probably going to be playing against a bunch, of, a bunch of the second, third, and fourth stringers from Jacksonville. But I'm going to assume that Parham will be out there at left guard. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe even center. If Andre James doesn't get any looks in preseason, maybe, maybe Parham plays a little center. I don't know, but I should, we should see him. Um, yes, Alexander, I actually uploaded the video on the channel. Shout out to everybody that checked it out. And also, you know, uh, it, it, you know, Cassie Soto, she's the one that put up the video. Um, shout out to her as well. But um, yeah, I've seen it. You love it. He's not supposed to be anywhere near DC um, in that drill. You know what I mean? You, like th th there's way too much room for disaster at that point. You know what I'm saying? Way too much. Why, why, why do you want Malcolm Coons anywhere near him? You know what I mean? So, you know. All it takes is for Malcolm Coons to fall on the ground and roll up on D.C. and fuck his leg up. And then next thing you know, we're looking at this year is just another year to just throw away. You know what I mean? So Josh definitely needs to stay on Malcolm Coons' ass about shit like that. And Coons is my guy. Shout out to Coons. Actually, I actually talked to Coons about coming on the show, man. I would love – I got to follow up with that. I actually kicked it with him out here in Dallas not too long ago. Him and Merrick, I need to get Malcolm Coons on the show. EJ. Tickets are available right now, you guys, and they're flying off the shelf. If you guys want to get in at the event in Adelanto, the tickets are available now. Canex.com, C-A-N-N-E-X-S.com. Go over there. They're only 10 bucks, you guys. They're only $10. And you get to be around a bunch of Raider players, content creators. It's going to be fun, you guys. So make sure you guys come out to Adelanto August 27th. Only 10 bucks, And I believe for $70 or $80, you get the – the event afterwards as well. You know what I'm saying? The Burning Trees, Rick Ross, Buster Rhymes, Ludacris, Soldier Boy, the list goes on. So stay tuned for that. We're going to be promoting that shit like crazy these next few weeks. We're only 27 ways, uh, 27 days away from Adelanto. Name and I hate it. I hate it, my brother. I think you just missed my rant about that. Um, I hate it. I hate it. Keep those, Keep Hunter away from punts period, point blank, and get Devontae when not on the field, totally away from the field. Nowhere near the sideline. Get him the fuck away. Nick, I'm supposed to, man. I'm actually supposed to be hosting an event out there. I don't know if, if, if it's still going to go through, but if it does, I was, I was, uh, someone reached out to me a while ago to come out there and host an event. So if, if so, I will be there, but I know um, Tennessee and New Orleans is two games that I'm going to. Definitely. So, but I will still, I will definitely try and make it. Nick, I'm one of them guys, brother. I'll say I'm not going to go. And then Friday I'm flying out to Florida. You know what I mean? So you never know with me, bro. I'm just sporadic as shit. You know what I mean? But if I do, I will make sure to let you know, King, and love to get up with you, man. Have a water or a coffee. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Yes, Hank. I am excited, man. I'm excited about Tyron Johnson. I'm excited about Tyron Johnson. That speed element is real, and it looks as though he's taking um, advantage of every rep that he gets uh, out there training camp uh, Training camp thus far. He's taking full advantage of it, and I love it, man. I'm here for it. Um, wouldn't be surprised to see this starting lineup on Thursday. Um, Alassani, I think that's how you say his last name, um, at left tackle. Um, LG Bars, yeah, I can see that. Alex Bars, par him at center. I don't want to see Cotton because I'm assuming right at this point, you guys, he, he's been in the league since, what, 2018? Um, I think they already know what he can do. I don't think – if Cotton – I said this the other day on the live, and I hate repeating myself, but it's that time of the year because there's not there's just not a million things going on right now, right? Um, I said this the other day. If you don't see Lester Cotton out there um, during preseason, just know he won that spot. Period, point blank, the end. But I can definitely see Leatherwood out there. But I'm going to assume, uh, Cal Slate, that – um, Mumford will be out there at right tackle or Bam or Bam, Bam or Mumford. Um, or they can do this. They can have Bam at right tackle, Mumford at guard, uh, Parham at center, Bars at left guard, and then Alicini at left tackle. Shout out to my dog, Max. Who starts for us on Thursday? Not DC, right? Hell no. Nah. DC won't have one rep. DC won't have pads on. 
DC will probably be in pajamas with the foots with, with the foots in them shits. Like there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Um, and I'm hearing that Mullins is looking really good out there too. And Stidham. So I'm, I'm gonna say Mullins. I think Mullins is gonna start. I think Mullins is gonna start and then Stidham will come in and um and get some burn too. Between those two guys. Oh, you know what? Shit, man. I keep forgetting about my my young pup out of cow too. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that Mullen starts Max. I'm gonna go that route. I'm gonna go that route. Then Stidham jumps in. Then Chase Garbers comes in and gets a little burn at the end of the game. Let me see. Oh shit! I'm tripping. Oh, that is Bam. What the fuck am I talking about? The, what what's the other guy's name? Villain. What's the other guy's name? What is the other guy's name? There's another dude on our roster. Hold on, I'm about to look this shit up. What, what, what the, was I talking about Jordan Meredith? I think I was talking about Meredith. My apologies, you guys. It's hot as shit out here. I can't really hardly think, man. <laughs> but you're right. That is Bam. Definitely. Barton. Jackson Barton. There we go. Him and, and Jordan Meredith. Those guys would definitely get some burn. Definitely get some burn. But I think that I think villain that Bama be a right tackle. I do. I think Bama be a right tackle. Villain, I look, I'm a Notre Dame fan, but I'm a Northern California guy, so I always root for Cal. Always root for Cal. It's hot as shit in this motherfucker. Bro, I, I, I was so confused by what the hell he was talking about right now. Let me see. I know it's a new offense, but if DC sat out the preseason, I would not be mad. Oh, he's gonna sit out. You're not gonna see DC out there. There's not like not one rep at all. Who was the offensive lineman, you guys? Who's the offensive lineman that had a name like that? It was like Alasani, Alasani. There was another old lineman that we had it years prior that had a name like that. Who the hell was it? I know somebody in the chat will know. I should know that shit. Yeah, Eddie, it's, it's blazing, bro. I got my water right here and my coffee right there. Shout out to my brother Halo for the cup. No, no, not assembly. Not KO. Not KO. It was somebody else. You know I know KO. No, not KO. There it goes. EJ Raider, real quick, shout out to my dog, Jose. I hope Lester is the starting left guard. Oh, left guard. He's going to be the starting right guard, Jose, if he does start. If he does start. Shout out to my dog, Jose, though, man. Shout out to my dog. It's always funny, man, to see my brother's default picture pop up and my face is in that shit. Shout out to my dog, Jose. Um, yeah, it was what's it? How, how you say it? Let me see. It was a mama may. A mama may. Remember, remember last year, for those who was uh, following the channel, um, I was calling him Edamame. Edamame, right? Edamame. Yeah, him. That's who, that's who I, Edamame. <laughs> Justin Hall, man. And he may be out there returning kicks. He may be. He may be. He may be. I got to grab one of these towels, bro. Fuck this shit. Hold on real quick, y'all. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I got to go get me an air conditioner in, in, in this thing immediately. Yeah, oh, he had a mame, bro. He had a mame for life. Shout out to my dog, Jose. Got to have the picture with the goat on my profile. Salute, King. Shout out to my dog, Jose, man. Always supporting the channel and an even better human being, man. I mean, real, real shit, man. Shout out to my dog. And he's like seven foot 13 in real life. I promise y'all that. Like, no, no lie. Dead ass. Look at the default picture. Shout out to my boy, Jose. Appreciate you, my brother. Let me see. Skills. Docs, what are your thoughts on Zamir White? I don't have any yet. I, I don't have any yet, to be honest with you. I, I don't I don't have any. Because I, I haven't seen him go out there yet. All, all I can go off of is what I've seen at Georgia. And Zamir's a dog. You know what I mean? Zamir White is a, a monster. I, I love Zeus. Um, but right now, you know, 
already dealing with an injury. Um, you know, I got to see him on the field. I hope to see Zeus out there. Max said, open the garage. I know, bro. I might have to do that. I just hate these flies out here, man. You know what? I'm about to do that shit. Crack that shit open, man. So I, I don't want to tell y'all, but when I get to Vegas, I have this theme already, right? I'm already like, this is what I'm doing when I get the house. I'm recreating. I'm trying to as much as I can. I'm trying to recreate the black hole for the podcast. Raider seats, Raider all that. I'm trying to create, recreate the black hole. So when I get to Vegas and I finally get home, I got an interior decorator I know out there. I'm going to try and reinvent that shit when I get to Vegas, man. Till then, I got to sit in this hot-ass garage with all my beautiful Raider shit. Let me see. Hey, bro, did Jalen Rashard, Rashard sign anywhere? No, I didn't see Rashard sign anywhere. Hey, Sus, not at all. Not at all. Hangry says, what are some question marks on our team, Docs? Defensive tackle. Defensive tackle. For real. Defensive tackle. That that's that's where it is. You know what I mean? I'm 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 nervous about that defense tackle room. With Bilal Nichols still on the pup list and not knowing what Matthew Butler or Neil Farrell is, is going to bring to the table. Very nervous about the defensive tackle room, my brother. He said, take your rich ass to oh bro. I'm not rich, King. <laughs> he said, take your rich ass to uh, Home Depot and get an AC for $250. i am about to get one too, bro. I got to at this point. You know what? I think I might go there after this, to be real. By, by a screen garage door. Bro. I'm about to do something, Halo. A broken Halo, bro. I'm about to do something, bro. Let me see. Shout out to my dog, repping for life, man. Wipe them feet, y'all. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. What's good, Doc? You think we signing anyone after the Hall of Fame game? I think we want they want to see live action and then see what they got. Facts, brother. Facts. 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 Um, we're definitely going to sign some people. I don't know who it is, but we'll definitely sign somebody. You know what I mean? We're bringing in all these uh, no-name guys to, to play through preseason so we can, keep, we can stay healthy for week one. But there's some names to keep an eye on. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think our wide receiver room is set in stone. You know what I'm saying? There's some defensive tackles out there that we can keep an eye on. Maybe some depth at the corner position. Maybe Carmen gets an eye, you know, gets gets to see what these young guys can look like in preseason and doesn't like what he sees. And maybe he goes and gets another a veteran, you know what I mean, that's still out there at the free agency market. I don't know. But um, another sneaky position to keep an eye on that we're maybe just maybe we may go get some extra help. Um, safety. You know what I'm saying? If I know Harmon is already there, he'll be nice. Uh, Trayvon Merrick would be nice. Who's to say what Abram's going to do? We don't know. We don't know if Gillespie's going to ball. We don't know if Roderick Team is going to be ready. Keep an eye on the safety position. Keep an eye on the safety position. We may reach out to another safety. Mondo says, you stop saying the black hole of Raiders, you too. Yeah, man, I just wanted to keep everything every as much as as much as I can Oak Las Vegas. You know what I mean? that that's That's the brand. You know what I mean? So I wanted to make sure that I kept this, everything as much as I can. Oak Las Vegas. That's everything to me. Oak Las Vegas. You know what I mean? Love the black hole. I, a lot of people, I see the comments. Damn, Graf, stop saying the black hole. Raider YouTube. You know what I mean? And, and the views expressed here on Graphic Podcast. People always ask for those two sayings. You know what I'm saying? So there's a time for it. And, and trust me, all I'm going to say is this, you guys. You're going to hear a lot. The views expressed here on Graphic soon. For those who know. They know for those who don't stay tuned. You're going to hear that a lot. Let me see. I feel Harmon is going to have a solid year. No doubt. Facts, Orange County. And I'm already hearing great things about him already. Rocco country. Let's ride. <laughs> Demi, it's not. It's not. Don't read too much into it, man. Don't let everybody freak you the fuck out on Twitter, on Instagram. Don't allow these guys to do it. Don't allow these guys to do it. You know what I mean? They're going to try and freak you out. Oh, my God, this person is gone. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All that matters is week one, you guys. All that matters is week one. Get through these four preseason games, 
and get to week one. That is all that matters. I'm not worried about who's out there right now. Who, you know what I mean? Who's not, it doesn't matter. As long as everybody's ready to go week one, that's all that matters, man. Let me see. Oh, I already did one. I already did one, Jimsy. I already did one, my brother. I had us at 12 and five. I had us at 12 and five. I think I had us losing a game to each one of the teams in our division as three L's. I had us losing to Indianapolis, I believe, after going on the road back to back games against, I think it was back to back, right? New Orleans and in, 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 in Jacksonville. I believe those two were back to back. So I had us losing to the Colts because of that long trip and back to back road games, which that is still a game where I think we can win. But I was just trying to be a little, you know, so I had us with the L. And then I think I had the Rams game Thursday night coming off of a, 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 a short week. We play Sunday, play Thursday. That's tough to play against a team like the Rams. You know what I mean? So um, those are the five, five games that I believe I had us losing. Let me see. I don't really care. I don't really care. You know what I mean? Like we lose, we lose. Like it's it's our guys aren't out there. Don't get me wrong. You want to win every game, but I mean, I think Jacksonville. You know, I said this the other day that they're going to want to win because Doug Peterson hasn't been in the league for a year or two. You know what I mean? And Jacksonville had a very very terrible record last year, and I think that they're going to come out guns blazing and want to win. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to want to win. They're going to try and win the game. You know what I mean? And we're just out there trying to see what we have with our young guys. I think that Jacksonville is going to go out there and actually play a few second-string guys and maybe even a, a couple starters here and there sparingly and, and try and win the game. That That's why. You know what I mean? So, you know. But, um, yeah. Dude is always negative anyway, man. You know what I mean? He's always negative as fuck. Hall of Fame game ain't for winning. It's a test drive. GA, facts. Facts. Factory. Does Jacksonville still have Dylan Moses? No, they actually um, they actually let him go. I don't know where Dylan Moses went. Let me see. Yeah, he's still a free agent. I would love to go out there and get Dylan Moses. Why not? I mean, I know he's dealt with some injuries, but I'd go out there and get Dylan Moses. That's what he said, word for word. Go, go listen to my live two uh, two days ago, Nick. I said the exact same thing. <laughs> I said the exact same thing. Real shit. Shout out to him though. Let me see. Um, if you could sign any free agent right now, who would it be and why? At this point, it's Sue. It's Sue. Got to be. It's got to be because I, I just feel like defensive tackle was a need. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the biggest need to me. You know what I mean? In a perfect world, you go get Sue. Um, if not, if, if if this regime says we need another offensive lineman, you know what I mean? Then you go get Darrell Williams. And if maybe, just maybe, Josh McDaniel says it's time to go into overdrive and overkill on the offensive side of the ball, go get OBJ for the for later on. Will Fuller, too. I, I, I love Will Fuller when he's healthy and not on them PEDs and shit. You know what I'm saying? But But, yeah, you know, but Sue has to be the guy. You know what I mean? You need a defensive tackle. You need, you know, he's coming off a season where he has six sacks and he can still, he can still stop the run fairly well. You know what I mean? So I'm going with Sue. I'm going with Sue. Only sign all your superstars uh, when you start a new dynasty. Facts, brother. Facts. Let me see. He just be showing out skills at this point. You know what I mean? He just be showing out. He just be showing out, bro. The, the greatest, the greatest in the league, man. The greatest wide receiver out there. Let me see. We should try and get Jamie Collins. I'm not against that. Jamie Collins is out there. Um, former Patriot. Dante Hightower is out there. Former Patriot. You know, there's a lot of guys out there. Williams is signed already. Where, where, no, where did Daryl Williams sign? Daryl Williams didn't sign with nobody. LV. He didn't sign with anybody. I think you were thinking about the other Daryl Williams. There's, there's two of them. There's a center, I believe. Um, there's a center. 
Oh, he signed to Jacksonville. Oh, shit. See, that's how you know I haven't been watching, bro. That's crazy. Yo, he signed with Jacksonville. Okay. Went, went and got uh, the young Clemson, Clemson pup some help, huh? I didn't know. I didn't even know he signed. I'm hella behind it, behind it, <laughs> behind right now. Ruben Foster was given a trial. I believe it was it was it was in Seattle, right? Five one zero was it in Seattle? I believe it was in Seattle. Uh, should take a look at Anthony Barr. He is definitely a shell of him of, of his old self, but I would definitely bring Anthony Barr in. You know what I mean? But you know, at this point, I, I think that Anthony Barr wants to go somewhere where he can where where you know he can start. I don't think Anthony. You guys think that Anthony Barr starts for us? Nah, Daryl Williams signed signed with Jacksonville. It's it's not the other Daryl uh, Dar Williams. I'm actually looking at it right now, brother. Daryl Williams from Buffalo actually signed with Jacksonville. Facts, facts, Dangerfield. Definitely having a ball out there. Definitely. Let me see. Um, Smoke Man Joe. I'll say this. Yes, it can. But it comes down to uh, conference play. That's what it comes down to. I think that 12 and 5 actually wins the division. But it comes it comes down to who's won more games in, in, in the conference. You know what I'm saying? That, that's how I think it comes down to. There may be a couple teams that's 12 and 5. You know what I'm saying? But it comes down to those conference wins to me. You know what I mean? Strength, you know, all that. It comes down to the conference wins. We can win more division games, win more conference games. I do believe 12 and 5 will get it done. Let me see. Docs, I'm one trade away from my all Raiders fantasy starting lineup. What you got, GA? Let me know, brother. What you got? Papatik says, what's the, what's the hold up? I think that these guys want to see what we have. Casper, yeah, it, it looks like it, but look right here. Let me show y'all real quick what I what I what I got. I didn't hear about that though. I didn't hear about that at all. Maybe it is the wrong one, or maybe just Google's on some trippy shit right now. Boom, right here. Darrell Williams is an American uh, football offensive tackle for the Jacksonville Jaguar. Oh, I I'm assuming. I'm assuming they went and got him. Yeah. Let me see. Um, Jimmy, Dwayne Brown has looked really good as of late. You know what I mean? He's he's up there in age. Ain't Dwayne Brown like 36, 37 years old? Left tackle. Um, we don't need him. You know what I mean? I think Dwayne Brown, I mean, yeah, I think he's waiting for a starting left tackle to go down somewhere. So we so he can so we can capitalize on that. You know what I'm saying? That that's what I think. You know what I'm saying? Because he's definitely still a starting left tackle in the league at this point. He looked really good last year. Let me see. I think that uh JC is looking at Tampa Bay at this point right now. Uh snaps. I think that he's looking at them right now, bro. You know, their guy just went down. I'm assuming that, you know, JC, he's looking at, he's looking at Tampa Bay. That's what I think. I think he's waiting for them to, you know, make a real, a real offer to him. And I think he ends up going to Tampa Bay. So that's, that's what I think. But we don't need a center. I think Andre James is going to ball out this year. Let me see. Let me see. Keelan Cole's going to be a sleeper. Facts. Facts. Um, yep, Kyle. Facts. I love the coaches of practicing so much. Red zone execution in training camp. That is a good sign. This is facts, my brother. We were just talking about that, King. Um, my brother Raider Gabe says, I already got everything booked. I'll see you soon, King. 
I'll definitely see you soon, my brother. Um, the Chiefs and the Broncos will be the worst teams in the AFC West. Both will be, will be predictable. Mm. I'm here for it, brother. I'm here for it. I think that the Chargers will – the Chargers may just charger it out. You know what I mean? You know how these guys – you know, they're paper champs every year, so I don't know. The Chiefs are still the Chiefs. I'm going to be honest, you guys. Sky Moore, if y'all have not been seeing the tape um, out there at Kansas City, you know, I'm doing – look, I'm doing my homework on arrivals and everything. Sky Moore is making some big, big plays for uh, for those guys out there at training camp right now. Keep an eye on Sky Moore. Holy shit. You know what I mean? They, they got one. They definitely got one. That that definitely eased the blow, um, you know, lose, losing Tyreek Hill. I'll tell you that. Uh, yes, just win, baby. I think so. With that extra game this year, um, if he can stay healthy and with the simply, just simply put with the, with the addition to Adams. Yes. 5k DC this year. Definitely. Definitely. Let me see. Oh, Joe nation. I didn't see a super, my brother. My apologies. King. let me go find it. I did not see it. Um, shout out to everybody here, man. Wipe them feet, hit them thumbs up. You guys. I, I don't see a super, my brother. Yeah, I don't. I don't see a super king. I don't see it. Let me see. Oh, I think it's gonna be fire. I think it's gonna be dope. I mean, he's still tied in too. But I think he'll get some looks in the red zone. You know what I mean? I think him and Mac Hollins both were 6'4". You know what I mean? Um, I think he's going to have a big year for us. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I thought, uh, 5'10". That's, that's what I thought. But look, bro, they literally have Daryl Williams, the Daryl Williams on there, signed to Jacksonville. So maybe, maybe Google fucked up too. I, I don't know. But I thought, you know, I would have heard of Daryl Williams signing with Jacksonville. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that, so yeah, I don't think he signed with them, man. I don't. I don't. Let me look, let me look at something real quick. I want to see if there's any news. Let me see. Nah, they signed a the dude from Kansas City. Yes, they signed a the dude from Kansas City. I knew I knew I wasn't tripping. I'm like, I didn't I didn't miss Daryl Williams getting signed. So no, Jacksonville went and got the other one. They got the other Daryl Williams. You think the player who didn't practice are gonna play more on Thursday? What do you, what do you mean? Uh Valley Podcast in, in turn, like who? Because the guys, most of the guys that didn't that didn't practice today, this uh, you know, the the double A's, the Anthony Averitts, the Rocky Sins, those guys aren't going to play anyway. So what, what players do you mean in, uh, um, specifically, my brother? Let me know. Who will have more touchdowns this season, Waller, Renfro, or Adams? Got to go with Devontae. Got to go with Devontae. Best wide receiver in the, in the league. Got to go with him. I'm not against going out and getting JPP, you guys. I just watched my brother Wasted, shout out to Wasted, talk about um, bringing him in. I'm not against that. JPP in. I'm with it. I'm all with it. Yeah, I want to know specifically which ones he was talking about. Yeah, wipe them feet, y'all. Hit them thumbs up. Let me ask you guys that. Who scores more TD? Shout out to my brother Naomi. Wilder, Renfro, or Adams? Who y'all got? Fat Watts. Facts, my brother. And if they do, I do. These guys have a lot of rings, um, you know, <laughs> at home. You know what I mean? So if they're sold, I'm sold. Adams, Renfro, Adams. They're saying right now that Renfro looks insane at training camp. They're saying that Renfro is balling out of his mind right now. That is beautiful. Pern, my brother. Thank you, King. I'm, I'm, look, bro, I'm going to check that shit right now because I'm telling y'all right now, bro, I'm dying. I am dying. 
I am dying. Let me see if anybody covers all of our receivers in the red zone. Car will walk in for six. Facts. Facts. Or just hand it off to Jacobs and just let him walk it in. Let's see. Adams and Renfro both have 15. Holy shit. Mac Hollins. Mac Hollins. Mac High Stakes Hollins. <laughs> Shouts my brother wasted. Mac Hollins, man. I mean, I don't think that anyone's going to be Aguilar. I don't think that anyone gets near the production of Aguilar, the 800-plus yards that he put up. I don't think anybody does outside of the Renfro, Waller, and, and Adams you know, trio. I don't see it. But I'll say that I think the clo maybe the closest person to get to it, it could be Tyron Johnson because of the speed, right? But Mac Hollins, man, I, look, I, look, bro, people are really high on him right now. I, I was high on that on that pickup as well. You know what I'm saying? So maybe, maybe, maybe Hollins, maybe Hollins, man. Renfro is unguardable. This is facts. Smoke, man, I definitely don't, my brother. I work too hard for my bread for me to just give it away, King. I don't. I do not. Shout out to my dog, Smoke Man Jodo. Um, yeah. Patriots signed Daryl Williams from Buffalo. When did that happen? Because I'm not seeing it. Did they? I'm not seeing that either. I didn't see that. They released Daryl Williams. Johnson is better than Hollins, I heard. I mean, look, I mean, look, Johnson brings something that Hollins doesn't. It's that speed. And don't get me wrong, Hollins is pretty fast for you know for his his size as well. Let me see. Bro, Ant, bro, there's like 12 Daryl Williams right now, bro. I'm so fucking confused right now. I have no idea what the fuck is going on, bro. I have no clue. I have no clue what the fuck is going on right now. I type in Daryl Williams, 30,000 motherfuckers pop up from the Patriots, Chiefs, Jaguar. I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore, man. I'm done. I'm over it, bro. I don't even care about Daryl Williams anymore. Um, GA says, Docs, will we have a thousand yard rusher or maybe two over 600 or 700? I think we will have two over six or 700. I'll say that. I'll say that. And I think that's going to be Kenyon Drake and Josh Jacobs. Um, I think Zeus and Brandon Bolding, you know, get, get some, get some nice work in too. But um, I think that Josh can put up anywhere from eight to 900. And I think that Kenyon Drake puts up anywhere from six to seven. And then Brandon Bolding and Zeus or Britton Brown, whoever, whoever's out there, um, Amir Abdullah, they, they get some looks too. Let me see. Yeah. I look, bro, I'm confused, bro. Bear Williams is a wrap. It's a wrap. John Gruden and Greg Olson was the reason Tyron Johnson didn't get to play wide receiver. This is facts. But, Watts, Gruden and Greg Olson are also the reason that he's still under contract with the Raiders. So, got to kind of take that with a grain of salt, right? Yeah, he's the reason he didn't see the field yesterday, uh, last year, but he's also they're also the reason why he's here. And thank God. Thank God for it. Um, yeah, I've been hearing the same thing, Roasted. Been hearing the same thing about Justin Hall. Bro, we're so deep at wide receiver right now, it's it's ridiculous. Yes. Keelan Cole will be a monster for us this year. I think Keelan Cole is going to be dope. I think that he'll be right behind. Ah, shit, man. I really want to say Mac Hollins or Tyron Johnson, but Shit, man. Keelan Cole may be, he may be that guy right behind uh, Waller, Adams, and Renfro, to be honest. He's had the most production in, in, in the NFL between any, in, any of the other guys up to this point. Keelan Cole has way more production than Mac Hollins, Tyron Johnson, any of these other guys, Demarcus Robinson, um, up to this point in their careers. So, you know, I, I got to give it, you know what? I got to give it to Keelan Cole because he's proved it to this point that he can put up production in the NFL. So I'll go with Keelan Cole, but he's definitely a really good addition. We got other teams just waiting for us to cut receivers. 
Facts. They might have to stay waiting because I don't know if we're going to get rid of anybody. For real. Um, we might be a 5,500 wide receiver core passing. Yo, whew, crazy. Crazy. For a wide receiver. Last year, we were so thin at receiver, we were nervous. Every week, it's like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? This year, we're just we're too deep. And who's to say that we're done yet? I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. Who will lead in red zone TDs? Waller, Jacobs, Adams, or Renfro? I'm going with Jacobs. And I think it's going to be pretty clear, too. I got Jacobs. I think that we're going to run the ball down defense's throats in the red zone. I got Jacobs. By, by, by shit, maybe even by a large margin. You know what I mean? I think that uh, Renfro is going to get some, but I, but I also think that Waller, Adams, and these guys get those, those, those long touchdown passes. You know what I'm saying? I think they see more of those. I think Jacobs is going to be key in goal line situations for us, and I think he's going to score a lot. Oh, no, Marcus. I mean, I, I, look, I've heard good things about Demarcus Robinson, too. I think he makes the team. Look, I know a lot of other guys don't think he's going to make it. I think that he's going to make it. I think that Demarcus Robinson will be a Raider week one. Definitely. Shout out to the Raider room. Thayer Mumford's going to be a late round. Still facts. Bro, he was a captain at Ohio State. If he would have left school earlier, man, he would have been an early round guy. People forget about that shit. Um, maybe we get creative, Sean. I don't know. Maybe Jacob, maybe Jacob Johnson does get some looks, but I think that Jacob Johnson is out there to block. You know what I mean? I think he is there to be Josh Jacobs safety blanket. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think that he's going to really get too many looks, but we may get creative. We may try to throw a defense off the, you know what I mean? Off the game and say, look, Jacob, run that shit in. It's a big boy. You know what I'm saying? So, but but I think that he's going to be more of a, you know, a just just a, just a blocker, just a blocker. You know what I mean? This isn't the same, um, the same scheme of the same offense that Gruden used to run. You know what I'm saying? You know, we we you know we've seen in gold um, score, you know, a few times in goal line situations. I don't think that Jacob Johnson gets those same looks. I don't. Let me see. Omni says, so it's Adams, Renfro, Coles, Johnson, Robinson, and more running backs and wide receivers. Uh, is that – are you putting those in, those receivers in order, Omni? Are you putting them in order? Are you putting them in order? Justin Hall is another sneaky name to keep an eye on. Another sneaky name to keep an eye on. Or maybe he makes the practice squad. I don't know. Not the Nick. Docs, this new regime is known for finding late uh, late round sleepers that become legends. This is the only this is only the beginning. The Raider Equinox is upon us in the words of my brother wasted. This is facts. Facts plus tax. Hey, let me ask you guys this, because today we made a call, right? I want I want to know because y'all my family and y'all the ones that run this channel. We do we we try to do as we try to do whatever y'all want us to do, right? Talk to my guys. What do you guys think about me wasted and our brother Paul, right? Paul Duracell, our brother, the NFL agent, Jeffrey Simmons agent, um, who was on the show the other night. We all talked about doing a weekly podcast called The Winning Circle, where we bring on, um, we spotlight, you know, up and coming athletes. We talk NFL, we bring on NFL players. It can be from the Raiders. It can be from other teams. Um, um, and we just we talk about everything from from faith to mental health. What do you guys think about doing a weekly show called The Winning Circle with me, Paul and Wasted? Let me know. Paul, is all, he, he's up for it. He's like, let's do it. You know, what I mean, I think Paul has a lot of wisdom. And I think that, you know, him being around the game for a living, I think he can bring an interesting perspective that me and Wasted can't bring. You know what I mean? He's an NFL agent for a very, very, he has some really good clients. You know what I mean? So I think that it might be a fire, fire concept. You know what I'm saying? Um, Paul, this facts, GA, this is facts, bro. The show with Paul, in my opinion, was your best show. At least that's that what I've seen. My brother, I appreciate you, King. Appreciate you. 
I think that I think we're gonna do that. I think we're gonna do it. The winning circle. We're gonna highlight, I mean spotlight a lot of upcoming guys. You know what I'm saying? So I think that'd be dope. All right, bet. Stay stay tuned for that. The nation will be there to support the movement, my brother. Appreciate you, name. Great idea, Docs. Love it. You know, it's funny. That idea came up on me today because, you know, something happened today. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna speak on it because it, it doesn't really matter. But you know, sometimes you have to use negativity as fuel, right? You see some things over here, you see some things over here, and you say, Instead of addressing the negativity, you put something positive together and you just attack them with success. And that's that's how that's how it happened. I literally was in the gym working out. And I said, man, Paul is 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 an intelligent brother. That I would love to have him. I went to, to church with him this Sunday. Really great dude. I said, you know what? Kill him with success. Shout out to my brother Paul. Shout out to my brother Wasted, man. Um, shit, what is it? It's some uh, God's gift, I think. I think it's some God's gift. It's all day. It'll give others more info to whatever y'all talking on. Facts, man. Facts. Dick, I think that the chances of getting married on the channel would be a lot more than Hobbs. And I'm definitely working on some things right now behind the scenes. So stay tuned for that, my brother. The next big show, use them sponsors, Docs, talking about the whole NFL can be a game changer. This is facts. Facts, my brother. We're, we're going to always stay Raiders, point blank, period, the end. That's what, I, that's what I live for. I live for this shit. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely want to bring on other people, man, and get their opinions on our team and, and other stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. Shout out to my sister, Criminality in the Building, man. Love you, sis. Let me see. Rocks, my brother, man. Have a great night, King. There you go. I'm not addressing it anymore, man. I'm not addressing it anything anymore, you guys. That's all I'm going to say, man. You know, I got my team that I love to work with, and that's where we are. That's where we are, you know. Last year, man, you know, we were all over the place. We had a million people want to show. It was, it was. So we're here. We're here. Is the Wi-Fi okay, you guys? Is it good? Sis, this is weed. <laughs> it, it, I promise you, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't smoke any of that other shit. It's weed. 300. I loved it, bro. I loved it. I loved it. Are we good? All right, bet. Bet. Thank you, NorCal. If y'all want to grab, if you guys want to grab some merch, man, go to oaklawsvegas.com and grab some. I just put an order in for a bunch of stuff. So you guys will see me wearing my stuff very, very soon, man. Stay tuned for that. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting the clothing line. I appreciate it, every single one of you guys. Facts, Raider Room, Delta 8. That's all That's all I fuck with, bro. I don't try to, I don't do all the high potent, high crazy shit. I just keep it Delta 8 where I'm good to go. Rep it for life. Don't ask me. Ask the nation. Nation, would you guys purchase these if our brother Tyrone started making the chains? Would you grab them? Would you grab one? Would you grab one? Would y'all grab one? Shout out to Kane Town. You're a winner, bro. You have passion. Some people don't possess those two qualities. Whatever you put your focus on, you'll succeed, bro. You'll always have my support, my brother. PlanetRaiders.com.
Shout out to my brother, Kane Town. Shout out to my brother, Big Mike. Shout out to my brother, Wasted. Shout out to Raiders.Scout. And shout out to my brother, CJ Erickson. Planet Raiders is about to be insane, you guys. Everybody right here, Tyrone. And they're saying they'll buy them right now. Shit, Alex said, I'll buy one right now. Brave, yes. Hell yeah, we ready to put our order in now. There you go. So that's so big. You could do it. See, a hey, big said, "What's the ticket, man? What's the ticket?" Oh yeah, you guys, come support, man, for real, man. Come support. We want you guys to come out and, and kick it with us, man. We want you guys to come out and support, for real, for real, like real talk. Week zero kickoff party, man. Adelanto, come rock with us, you guys. Please come kick it with us. You're going to have fun. You're going to see some players, some rappers. It's going to be – we're going to have a ball, man. Go right here and go grab your tickets, man, ASAP. You know what I mean? No, Raider Villain. It's going to be an actual website. I'm writing articles. Kane Town is writing articles. Raiders.Scout is our senior writer. CJ Erickson is one of our other senior writers. Um, Big Mike's going to be writing articles. Waste is going to be writing a lot of articles. We're writing and we're do also doing visual as well. We'll have YouTube channel. We're going to have YouTube videos. We're going to have um, articles. We're going to have all kinds of stuff, man. Stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. It's it's Hobbs, bro. Just went like, bro, Hobbs is in the slot. That, that's his job, my brother. It, Amik will not take his job at all. At all. Oh, you mean one day? You mean one of them? Hold on. You know what? Come on, give my hold on. What about one of these? One of those? Shit, fuck it. What 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 about the little joint? Not no Mr. T, bro. I'm Mr. G out this motherfucker, bro. Mr. G. <laughs> Thanks. Let me see. Nah, watch. I don't. I don't think Amik's gonna get cut, bro. I think he makes the roster. We need depth, man. We need depth. Ray, you know what's funny? Last year, let me ask, let me, you know what? I'm gonna do this. These past two years, shout to the OGs that's been watching the channel forever. What did I used to do on every live in here, man? What what did I do? What what was the what was the thing? Shout out to the nation, man. Shout out to everybody in the chat. What did I do? You know what? I'm gonna do this. Whoever answers this question and lives in the LA area, I got you a free ticket to Adelanto right now for the Raider event. For the Raider event. I got a free ticket for you right now. Free ticket for you right now. What did I used to do all the time? You have to live in the area, though. You know what I mean? I'm not flying nobody out or no shit like that. But if you live in the area, if you can get to Adelanto, I got a free ticket for you. Dennis says, drink a lot. That, that's facts, though. Brandon says, cigar in, in Corona. That's facts, too, though. But I mean something specific. I mean something specific. Said that too, Naaman. No, no, no. We're talking about what, 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 you know, everybody says show off your stuff. Yeah, I get that. I'm, I'm doing that right now. But there's something else that I used to do. And everybody was like, here go graph again. Here go graph again. Definitely, Squid. Definitely, my brother. Definitely. Ortiz says music, rap. Okay. Mondo says, uh, Piss under the table. Facts. Facts. Definitely. 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 I, I would definitely piss under the desk a lot. Um, not from the area. The change hats. Daniel, change hats. 
hat change. We're a million of them every damn show. Shout out to everybody that got that right. Who lives in the area? One of y'all live in the area? Matter of fact, you know what? All five of y'all that just said that. Who lives in the area? If you live in the area, DM me and I got you a ticket uh, for the Raider invasion. How about that? I got you a ticket. I got a ticket for you at Adelanto. Point blank period, the end. All five of y'all. If y'all live in that area, pull up on me. Hit me on Instagram. I got you a ticket for week zero. Mondo said, you show the bullet head before you change your hat, though. Facts. <laughs> it's week zero. Um, week zero. That's the name of it. Week zero. I actually came up with the name. You know what I'm saying? Week zero. It was right before week one. Ding, ding, ding. You know what I mean? Week zero. That's says Victorville. Oh, shit. Pull up, bro. Pull up. <laughs> you think DJ Turner could be wide receiver six if he gets off in preseason in camp? I think that DJ Turner at best will be a practice squad guy. That's what I think. I think he'll make the practice squad. I don't think that he's better than Demarcus Robinson, Mac Hollins, Keelan Cole, any of those guys. So, um, nah, I, I don't. I don't think so, Marzell. I, I really don't, brother. Or Tyron Johnson. Brandon, what I'm hearing, my brother, is he's not. What I'm hearing, whatever it is, it's not that serious, and he'll be ready to go week one. That's what I'm hearing. I, I could be wrong. You know what I mean? Fucking fly. But I don't know. Shout out to my dog, man. Nick, Graf, I've been watching you since day one. I speak for the nation when I say we're proud of your growth. Keep growing and grinding, dog. I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you, King. That means a lot to me, my brother. And we're working on a lot over here, you guys. I promise you, new sites, new merch, um, new city, moving to Vegas. You know what I mean? It's going to be a whole new look. You know what I mean? Everything's going to look insane, like, like 4K shit soon. Just give me some time. Give me some time. But I appreciate you, man. Um, hey, bro. Told you, motherfucker. <laughs> Shout out to uh, El Paso, man, my dog, Edgar, man. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I mean, like, I, I, I apologize low-key because, you know, I'm used to dropping so many more videos, but I've been working on so much shit behind the scenes. You know what I mean? So it's just been tough trying to do a million videos while I'm trying to launch a website, um, uh, throw this event in Adelanto, you know what I mean? I got some other stuff for home games going on potentially behind the scenes, you know what I mean, in Vegas. So it's just a lot going on. So I haven't been able to drop as many videos as I want. That's why I've been doing more long, you know, long lives, an hour, hour and a half, just trying to talk with you guys as much as possible. But when the regular season comes back, oh, we lit. We lit, lit. Like, it's it's over with. Like, we're going to be here sometimes 10 times a day. You know how this shit go. Um, Docs, when y'all going to do something in the SAC area, I'm definitely trying to work on something. I'm actually, I actually might be flying out, um, flying back home in a couple of weeks um, to Sacramento. I think I might be flying out there around the 14th, 15th for about a week. You know what I mean? So um, my auntie that raised me that just passed away in January is her birthday. So um, I'm probably going to fly out there and get with my sis, man, and, and try to do something special for her. So if I do, I was trying to do like maybe a, um, a, a something for, for the homeless, man, because in my city in Sacramento, for those who don't know, it's it's crazy, man. The, the homeless, it, it's, it's insane. So I was thinking about doing something on 65th and Stockton over by the Dollar Tree and try to get as much food and, and drinks together and go out there and just hand some stuff out to the homeless if I can make it home. But that's still definitely something that I want to do. You know what I mean? That 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 means a lot to me. You know what I mean? Um, supposedly ran for – yeah, we talked about that. Reaper sucks, bro. Keep ran for away from punts. Keep Adams away from the uh, from the field when he's not on the field. Uh, are you moving to Vegas or will you have a place to do and talk Raiders shit in Vegas away from home? I'm actually moving there. 
But this season, though, uh, Naaman, I will be traveling out there a lot. Even if I don't move out there this season, I'm going to be out there a lot, a lot. Uh, I appreciate you guys, man. I appreciate all you guys for all the kind words. And real quick, man, shout out to my dog, um, Chris Phelps, man. Just bought two T-shirts on OakLawsVegas.com. I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you so much um, for supporting, King. That means a lot to me, my brother. OakLawsVegas.com, you guys. If you guys get a chance to, go over there and support, man. My boy bought two T-shirts. You going to use? No. A new one is on the way, Skills. A whole new intro is on the way. I can't go into the season, man, with uh, Trey Regis and Deshaun Jackson and, 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 and Brian Edwards in my intro. So I, I got a new one on the way. I got a new one on the way. For those who don't know, I got a, I got a, um actual Devontae Adams um, theme on the way. So, yeah, stay tuned for that, you guys. I got to get out the uh, – I got to get out to Vegas ASAP and go record this record. Uh, Thick Frame, he is out for the season, brother, with a leg injury. He's, he's done for. He's done for. He's gone. Tony, I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you, King. That means a lot to me, man. Appreciate you. Shout out to Kyle as well, man. My brother, man. I appreciate you, King. They're on the way, brother. Let me see. Fulfill items. Yep. Boom. They on the way. Yes, we are doing one. We're doing a, a Mount Shilmore, you guys. A Mount Shilmore uh, fantasy draft. So stay tuned for that. We're de- and we're gonna do it live. We're definitely gonna do that live. You know what? I gotta get with the uh, with the Shilmore tonight, tonight, and, and, and make that and make that happen. I gotta get with those guys. And go, my brothers. Yes, it will, Naaman. I promise you. I'm still going to put up the uh, the one on the intro as well. I haven't put it up on Spotify or Apple Music yet, but I'll definitely do that. Oh yeah, Derek, that's my brother. I, I've knew I've known Fingers since four years old. Like that ass. Like we started making music together. Our first group was the Docs. We all got this tattoo. Wait, which one? Which one? This one right here. We all got that tattoo. That was all of our first tattoo ever, ever. That's my brother right there. Get on my fucking nerves, but that's my brother. Um, Wade, I'm not really hearing too much about uh, Andrew Billings. It's been really, really quiet um, on the defensive tackle room. It's been really, really quiet, man. So I don't know. Oh, yeah, Omni, it's, it's getting updated, family. Yeah, Trey Reagan signed with the Rams. Facts. Fast. Good for him, man. Good for him. I hope we beat the shit out of him that Thursday night. Um, any event for the Niner game in Vegas? I'll say this, my brother. Um, it's it's New Year's Day, and there's no way in hell I'm not with my wife and kids on New Year's. So um, if my wife and kids don't want to go out to Vegas, I'll be somewhere else. So if they all say, cool, we want to go out to a Raider game, then we'll be in Vegas. But if they don't, We'll go do something else. But um, I don't know of any events yet. I don't know of any events yet. But if if this situation that me and a few of my brothers are working on actually pans out, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Spitfire, I, I disagree. I disagree. If games are won and lost in the trenches, sad to say we may be in bad shape, Nation. Uh, considering our weakness on the O line and lack of depth on the D line, facts. I, I disagree with you. I think our O line is cool. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not worried about our O line. And we have one of the greatest um, edge rushing duos in the league, probably the best. You know what I mean? So, um, I, 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 I got to disagree with you, brother. I got to disagree with you. And, and we still have not seen Bilal Nichols um, out there yet. You know what I'm saying? We got to still give Matthew Butler and Neil Farrell a little bit of room. I'm nervous about the defensive tackle room a little bit right now because Bilal Nichols is out. And I haven't heard anything about our, our rookie guys. You know what I mean? But I disagree. I do. I do. But shout out to Spitfire, man. Appreciate you, brother. Um, my brother, man. Appreciate you, King. Shout out to my dog, man. My brother, man, Pastor Raider. I appreciate you, King. 
my brother, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, my brother. He said, I let my membership lapse because some issues with the bank. It's all love, brother. You ain't got to explain, King. You family, bro. I, I appreciate you. If you guys want to become a member of the channel, hit the link up top. It's the link that's pinned up top. Um, we got some dope perks this season, man. I promise you guys. Real shit. We're going to be bringing the fan shows back. If you're a member, you can jef uh, definitely jump on the fan show. You know what I mean? So we're going to be bringing the fan show back this upcoming season. And if you're a member, you can jump on camera with us and shoot the shit. So stay tuned for that. You know what I mean? Shout out to my brother, Pastor Red. Spitfire. I hope I am too, bro. <laughs> shit. It's all love, my brother. But yeah, y'all. Shit. You already know what it is, man. Shout out to my boy Jose real quick. Docs, with the injury to fact rail, do you think we should take flyers on Hightower, Ford, or Collins? Um, I'll, I'll say this. There's a few names out there you can go look at. The Hightowers of the world, you know, former Patriot. Um, D Ford dealt with a lot of injuries. Um, I don't know what he has left in the tank, but I would love to bring in D Ford. If he's healthy, the guy's a monster. You know what I'm saying he hasn't been healthy in a long time, but if you can, if he's healthy, great. I would love to bring in D Ford. Um, Jamie Collins, I'm not that big of a fan. I'd rather have Ford or Hightower, but even keep an eye on Nassim too, you guys. Like I said before, he's played in the 3-4 and the 4-3 system before. He knows how to play both with his hand in the dirt and standing up. So I would not be shocked if we brought Nassib back. Um, and, yeah, there you go, Q. Trey Flowers as well. Trey Flowers as well. That's another name to keep an eye on. Um, but, yeah, man, shout out to you guys. It is fucking blazing out here. I'm going to take my ass in the house. I appreciate you guys, everyone here, man, that's rocking with me. Wipe them feet on the way out. Also, hit that subscribe button, man. We're trying to get to 20K, you guys, and I need y'all help with that, man. So let's hit this random numbers up. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I'm going to go fucking sit in my drawers in front of a fan right now. You already know. And real quick on the way out, shout out to GA. Looking forward to watching games with Shieldmore this season. Not many Raider fans in Chattanooga. My dog, but well, we're going to be here every week, my brother. So stay tuned for that. My dog, appreciate you, King. As always, my as, as always, Nation, you already know. Love y'all. I'm Maltro.